Aldabra is one of the world's largest coral atolls. It belongs to the Seychelles Islands, but it's very isolated. It lies 1,200 kilometers away from the main island group. This creates a very difficult situation in terms of management for, for the Seychelles. They're responsible for taking care of this place, yet, yet they, they're located 1,200 kilometers away, 1,200 kilometers of open ocean. You can imagine the costs involved in uh, ensuring the presence of uh, management people, of park wardens at this site. Not only do you have to move them out there, which costs uh, quite a bit of money, but then you have to maintain them in these sites. You have to make sure they've got food, sustenance, if there are any medical emergencies, you're able to deal with that. So the whole management infrastructure for Aldabra Atoll is, is very costly. There lo there's lots of overhead. How does a small country like the Seychelles, which is not uh, one of the rich countries of the planet, deal with this? Well, luckily, Seychelles has a second world heritage site, the Valley de Mai, located right within the main island group, which in fact is an important tourist destination. And it's with the tourist revenues, the entry fees uh, that are generated by Valley de Mai, that Seychelles Island Foundation, the organization that manages both Valley de Mai and Aldabra, covers the cost of managing Aldabra. In fact, 70% of the funds generated by Valley de Mai are used to support Aldabra.